So I already made this video once and I did it before I packed everything into the bags. I had everything laid out, I spread it all out because that's typically how I do my bag. I, I spread everything on the floor and just keep putting and finding what I'm missing and putting it into it. But this is the real process of how I get my merchant marine, merchant seaman, sailor bag ready. I lay it all out. I think I got everything. I pack it all into my bags. And then I remember I forgot something. So I usually take it all back out, look at it all, put in what I'm missing, and then really think about if I'm needing anything else, missing anything else. Usually what goes in my bag is pretty much the same. There's just some little things that change here and there, but right now, everything that's in my bag is usually in my bag regardless of the duration of the trip, the season, the type of ship, whatever. I pack my bag the same no matter what. I, I pack for both weathers. This trip that I'm gonna be going on coming up, I do know that it is winter and where I'm going is very cold. So I am packing some extra long sleeves, uh, some sweats, you know, I'll show you as I'm pulling it out, but typically even like winter gloves, I usually pack winter gloves as well, regardless of season. So I'll take it all up, I'll explain it as I'm taking it out. That way each and everything will come out and you'll see it, okay? We're gonna start with my, my check-on bag. My check-on bag is a North Face rucksack. I don't know how big exactly, but I love this bag. I'll leave the link in the description. It's got a super big, thick zipper, really durable, thick zipper. And the whole bag is this like rubber material almost. So you could throw it in the snow, throw it out in the rain, throw it in the water and it's still gonna keep what's inside dry for the most part. Uh, and then my backpack's just some backpack I got at Cabela's, so. Uh, here we go. Typically, in my top flap of my bag, I think this is where most people put their like toiletries and stuff. I pack my toiletries in with my stuff, that way, you know, it has some cushion and doesn't get beat up at the airport. But I'll put all my sharp things up here, my knives and all that. So in the top one, even though I rarely shave, I have a little shaving kit that I bring. This bag here has my serrated box blades and a sewing kit, compliments of grandma. This bag here is my nail clippers, Leatherman Skeletool, Milwaukee Fastback Box Cutter. Now, regardless of season, I always like to bring a 100% wool sweater. Uh, I usually find these at thrift stores. I don't care what they look like because usually I wear a long sleeve under, you know, a long sleeve shirt underneath. That way I don't get itchy. And then I wear a long sleeve or a hoodie on the outside to not get the wool dirty. So I always bring a wool sweater. That's kind of usually my standard like winter thing that I bring. Socks, wool socks, wool socks, wool socks. Like 90% of the socks I bring are wool socks. I honestly think I have about 15 pairs of socks in here. Uh, the only thing I don't have in my bag right now is my underwear and my pillowcase because those are gonna be getting washed. So, and a towel, pillowcase and towel. Those are the last two things that I forgot that aren't in here. So those still have to be added. But yeah, I got like 15 pairs of wool socks. I believe you can never have too many socks. Your feet are the most important thing for work. So you want them to be comfy. You want them to be dry. You want them to be warm. Right here, I got four boxes of sleepy time tea because of where I'm heading. I think I want a little extra sleepy time tea. I usually just bring two boxes to have occasionally, but I'm bringing four boxes of the sleepy time extra strength tea. 
This is just a little unlock game Charmaine got me last year. I have a stretch band, a yoga mat. Most of you, most, I don't think very many people travel with a yoga mat and a stretch band, but I like to because I do like to do yoga. Uh, right here is my GoPro case with all my GoPro accessories. So we got one, two, oh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the tenth shirt I will be wearing with me to the ship. I usually like to bring around ten pairs of shirts. Uh, at least one of them is usually the ones I wear to the ship, you know, through the airport. It stays nice. I pack it up when I get to the ship and I wear it when I come home as well. I only keep one shirt nice that I plan on keeping nice. All these other ones I care less about. I could wear them, destroy them, leave them on the ship. Gives me more room to pack when I come home. I usually like, ooh, another thing I forgot. I like to bring two button up long sleeve shirts. Here's one of them. The second one will be going into my carry on bag. I usually only bring one long sleeve shirt, but for this trip, I'm bringing three because it's gonna be cold, I know it. Two of them are going in here, one of them is in my carry-on bag. So we got one pair of Carhartt jeans, two pairs of Carhartt jeans, this right here, I don't care what brand it is, my last ones were Carhartt, these ones, I don't even know what brand they are. Um, this, along with my wool sweater, is one of the things that I always bring as well, regardless of season. I like to bring a pair of fleece-lined pants, fleece-lined jeans, or, you know, some kind of fleece-lined work pants to wear. I don't like to get too hot with my monkey suit, which I'll get to in a minute. The monkey suit can get too hot sometimes, so just a pair of fleece-lined pants is really helpful in the cold. Sweats, I don't usually bring sweats, I usually sleep in my underwear, like most people, but because of the weather, I'm bringing sweats just in case. I have my toiletry bag, which this is pretty much standard as well. Besides, you would double it because this trip I'm doing a like 60 day-ish trip coming up. Uh, I have one large head and shoulders, one gold bond foot powder to put in my boots, one gold, gold Bond No Mess Body Powder Spray, any angle, uh, for guys mostly. And I got a uh, toothpaste for each month. So that's usually how I plan for, for toiletries. There's a couple extra things. My carry-on, I, I have Tiger Bomb. Tiger Bomb's like extreme icy hot. I like to bring Tiger Bomb. So that's the toiletries. I usually bring at least three, three pairs of shorts. I got two of them in my check-in, one in my carry-on. This is new. I found these at the thrift store. These are like flight line coveralls. I'm usually not a coverall guy, but I seen these. They got a whole bunch of pockets. They're cool looking because they're like flight line suits. And they're actually, I think they're tailored to whoever owned them before because they, you know, I could see the stitching in them and everything. And I tried them on and they're a perfect fit. They don't ride up in any way. They don't hang up in any way. They're actually a pretty pair, comfy pair of coveralls. So I'm bringing these along. These are new. I have one pair in my check-on and one in my carry-on. I have one pair of long johns in my carry-on and one pair in my check bag. These are my winter gloves. These are some Milwaukee all day warmth gloves. Uh, any of this stuff that I could find a link for, I'll leave down below if you are interested in it. I usually always bring, not necessarily Milwaukee brand, these were just on sale, but I usually bring some kind of winter glove as well, regardless if I use them or not. I like to bring magnets to hang stuff on my walls. These were an extra pair of gloves I just had lying around, they're fingerless gloves. More socks. This, I know you guys and gals have told me, I've, I know you guys and gals have heard me talk about. This in here is my monkey suit. 
This is the Walls insulated pair of coveralls. So this is the best way to pack for both seasons. You know, you're wearing your regular clothes for the warmer seasons, but you get into some unexpected cold weather. Say you didn't want to pack a big thick wool sweater. You didn't want to pack the fleece lined pair of jeans and you know, extra long sleeve shirts and extra hoodies or whatever. If you at least bring one of these insulated pair of coveralls, I like the Walls brand because typically I found that the, the, the insulation part in them is a little thicker. I've had Carhartt, Carhartt just feels a little thinner. So the Walls brand is the one I like. That's my insulated coveralls. And here we have my extra tough rain boots, composite toe, oil resistant, non-slip you know, slip resistant, blah, blah, blah. I got another like three to four pairs of socks stuffed inside these. And I usually wear my work boots to the ship. Like I fly in my boots and everything. So I usually put like a pair of running shoes in here in my check bag. Uh, another thing I don't have here, I always bring some house slippers and some shower slippers. They're not packed because I'm wearing them and using them. I'm weird, I wear slippers even in my own shower. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. The last thing here, again, this is an extra, but I always like to bring them. These are Grundin's waterproof pants. It's, it's nice to have a pair of waterproof pants as well, just for, you know, those those days where you gotta wash down the deck or do something like that. Last trip, I think I wore them maybe five times in the seven months I was out, but I will still always bring them. So in my, my carry-on bag, usually I have, I'm gonna be wearing a sweater to the ship, so this sweater will probably get stuffed into my check bag. The only thing I don't have in my carry-on right now is my laptop, my hard drives, my Stanley coffee press, which I'm pressing right now. Yeah, my laptop, my hard drives, my Stanley coffee press, my Kindle, you know, any of the more important stuff that is gonna be in here that I use on the daily is not packed yet. But that's, that's all your own personal stuff that you wanna bring. Uh, typically all of this is standard stuff. You know, the pants, the shirts, all that stuff. And here we have a Targus power adapter. It's got whatever they use in Asia, plus the regular one and some other weird one I haven't seen yet. But this guy is pretty cool because no matter where you go, what you're on, you can, if they don't have a transformer or an adapter for you, you can use it. I found when I was in the hotels a lot, they didn't have adapters. So, that, that's what I got this guy for. Uh, so a Targus power adapter, a pair of work gloves go in my carry-on. Right now I have a pair of face masks, you know, just regular pandemic face masks. I usually bring two pairs of bandanas. I got the ever so popular, what are they called? Neck gaiters or whatever. I had these neck gaiters before there were even a pandemic going around because I had long hair and I used to protect my hair with the gaiter. So I got one of those. I have this beanie right here, which I will definitely find a link for for you guys. It's a beanie with a light inside of it. Let me show you this. Look at this, right? Got a little light in there. And it also comes out and is rechargeable via USB. Look at that. So you guys might want to check this out. Definitely find a link for this one down below. Another Carhartt beanie, a uh, bag of coffee. I'm going to throw another bag in here as well. A little origami pack that Charmaine also got me. I have a back brace just in case for those days where, you know, I'm doing some heavy lifting or I feel sore. I have that second pair of long johns in here as well. I usually bring at least one pair of long johns. So 
that's that's just a part of that, you know, being prepared for any weather, no matter what. I always like to bring a pair of long johns. This, you definitely have to go find a mesh laundry bag. I can't tell you how many times that I've met sailors that don't bring a type of laundry bag and they just use plastic bags for their laundry. You know how nasty that is? Think, you're working on a ship all day long, you're, you're working, you're sweating, then at the end of the day, you're gonna take those dirty, sweaty clothes, you're gonna put them in a plastic bag, and then they close them up so, you know, their room doesn't stink. Well, if you have them in a mesh bag, it doesn't make your room stink, it airs your, your clothes out a little, and as long as you're keeping your room clean, your room's not gonna stink. But when you have a plastic bag that holds all that sweat in, it, ugh, it gets so nasty. I remember going into the laundry room and having guys and girls, guys and girls come into the laundry room with plastic bags, untie them, open them up, and you could smell their laundry coming out of it. Oh, it was nasty. So I always like to bring my own laundry bag, and that goes in my carry-on because if I end up in a hotel before I get the ship or whatever, I can put my dirty bat or dirty clothes in it. Uh, I have some snow seal for, it's just a all season leather protection for boots. My, I got one more long sleeve. That's gonna be my work long sleeve as well. The second pair of coveralls, the air flight coveralls that I got at the thrift store my third pair of shorts, and my traveling toiletry bag. And this just has, you know, the smaller item stuff. My Tiger Bomb, another thing of deodorant, ibuprofen, uh, little floss sticks, Q-tips, and what else I've just remembered? A bar of soap. I need some soap. Over here, I just have two more work hats. So that's everything. Uh, like I said, I, I usually do this two or three times. I pack it all, I remember something. I take it all out to relook at it and see what I got. But now I know I need my soap still. I need my bar soap, my pillowcase, and my towel. But regardless, the majority of all this stays the same for any ship I go on any season, any time of year. Knowing I'm going to a cold place, I have packed some extra warm things, but typically this is what you need. This is what you need regardless of anything for a work trip that's lasting 60 days, four months. This is pretty much exactly what I brought for when I got stuck this past year for seven months. Besides the toiletries, <laughs> The toiletries I did almost run out with. For clothes wise, boot wise, material wise, this is what I brought. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and I'll see you in the next video.